So then only these two introduce. Uh, now look at the theory of uh, ICT. Here, what is representing the so-called mind? In this picture, it's the the water that uh, yeah. that you playing with. It's the water, yeah. Yeah. So, into that water, ripples are formed. Yes. In this diagram, or according to her other interpretation, into that plain, colorless, orderless, uh, sens insensible water, colors are falling. Colors are formed. Yes. And that colors are formed by the inputs, the droplets. So yes. now you are interpreting, you are doing the act of interpreting a symbolic diagram. Yes. It is not a symbolic diagram, it is almost a, a frozen sort of a, a movement. There is a movement in that, but move, it is not a video. But mm -hmm. uh, you can easily project a video there, I mean movement there. So looking at it as a, a frozen sort of movement, what more interpretations about the, dro what about the droplets? Anybody else? Sir. So can I try, sir? Yeah, why not? Please, just yeah. do that. There's a steady stream of droplets falling and reflection also is there in the water. So it is reflected. In yeah. The... That is why I asked you, I said, you, how would you, how could you, uh, no, because I assume, uh, not I assume, there is an agent there in Asadi by which she chose it. Because, for example, this is not a diagram in red or green or color, it is black and white. We will come to that later. There is a reflection in the water. Later. Veena pointed out another aspect that we will interpret later, but Veena noticed it. Right now, Veena, we are not talking about reflection. We are talking about the droplets. You have to consider why we are discussing this. This is a currently a symbolic metaphor of mind. You are talking about the droplets. You go, you take the freedom to interpret the droplets. Okay, sensory input. Secondly, idea input. What else? Can I, can I uh, speak? Yeah, you do it. So, uh, my interpretation is this tropics could also be opinions of others, which the moment touches the surface of our mind, seeps into our mind and colors it. And hence, we have to be careful of those. No, no, that is okay. That is a further interpretation. We are not going to that dimension now, uh, Minoshi. Yeah, I want to. I am, I am testing your ability to interpret this drop, droplets itself. Forget about going into the mind, processing, coloring it, and all that. One is that they are sensory input. Second, uh, uh, you say that it is ideas, etc. Third, opinions of others, media inputs. No, opinions of what no, we no, hear. No, no. That again, that you are now clarifying ideas. Okay, all right, opinions. Uh, uh, suggestions, commands, instructions, uh, dialogues, it's, it's all agreed, agreed, agreed. All these are let's say ideas, okay, all right. What, or rather, what more you can say? Okay, let me change the wording of the question. I told you, you have to do oh. the, wait, wait, very important things are not being considered. I had told you before that you should apply the freedom of reinterpreting, reconceptualizing the question. So after every session, like in the school, you are forgetting that and you are going, no, no, you have to interconnect all these things. All these are uniformly uh, mingling with each other. You have to apply your reference reality perception, you have to apply your concept sense. All these things are required. This is not learning lesson one. Okay, understood it perfectly. Lesson two, understood it perfectly. So that there will be question coming only, uh, there will be questions only from lesson one or lesson two. Or lesson three. Questions are based on lessons. 
Life is not like that. A certain question may cut across uh, all the lessons. So it's an organic field. Every session is separated because of various other constraints. So, what other freedom of interpretation you can bring in in the so-called droplets falling in the mind and creating ripples in this diagram? You sing this diagram. The same. Even now, we are not really sure whether only three principles of gravitational forces are there or whether they are the rules at, so, at all. That is the available interpretation. Agreed. Okay, beautiful. There could be many more. Even in that, I am sure. So, similarly, how do you interpret this falling stone of the totality of this picture? Come on. Reflect. Look at it and reflect and think for two, three minutes. Oh, it's already only about 10 minutes left. It is only one single drop that is various stages of falling of a single drop or many drops falling and the path it takes. The variation is wait, the wait, wait. They are very beautiful. It is not a single drop falling. A single drop falling creating a ripple and the drops continuously falling creating ripples. Are they the same? No. Yeah, no. Why? see how this is, you know, you have already taken that picture for granted. This is an example. There are how many? One, uh, two, okay, last two, three drops are almost. There are at least two, more than three, four drops coming. And uh, now perhaps you might got a feel of how far that alone can be interpreted. Do you? Do you? Yes or no? Sir, can I try? Wait, wait. Uh, okay, Anila, so you are going to try what? Another interpretation or you are going to interpret what Veena said? Another interpretation. Uh, but I want to complete uh, uh, what Veena said. That is a little bit critically relevant here and important also. Okay. First, let us finish that. Why it is so difficult to say? What is it? Uh, so, yes. I would say it is so simple. Come on. It is the continuous falling of drops. Uh, it is uh, what? Like. It, uh, no, no, it is the continuous of falling of uh, drops. I mean, there is, it's a continuous process of taking input from around. Um, Around from our environment, like for the mind. Good, good, good. Clear. Uh, you have to have a little more better clarity of uh, this is called the conceptualizing. Remember, conceptualizing. I told you many times. It is putting into words. Nitya has a perception, but he is struggling uh, to put it into translating that perception into words. And even then, it is not really a good, a good syntax or good level of ideology. So once again, continuous. What you? What is that? Continuous. What? Once again. It's a continuous process of taking inputs. What is the it here? The mind. Uh, then now you see the sentence has become wrong. Yes. Now you say, uh, if you replace it with mind, you say mind is a continuous process of input. Is it so? No, this water ah, falling. Ah, ah, yeah. it, then this come on, come on, come on. Mind is similar to the continuous um, stream of ideas and uh, other no, 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 no. Here, mind is the water drops or the ripple place. Which one? Ripples. Yeah, then? So that surface that is having the ripples, it is... No, 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 no. Go, don't go to ripples. We are talking about the droplets. So more and more... Huh. 
ideas and inputs are coming to the mind and mm. creating the ripples creating the mm -hmm. Oh, my, that's enough. That's enough. Don't go. Don't go much, much, much. No, no. Okay. Here only ripples are there. So we'll talk about ripples. So what that ripples we will ask later. Okay. So that is. So what is that? What do you call more and more inputs are coming. Yeah. Okay. Mm, nice. But uh, uh, but uh, you should make a little more qualification to talk about that more and more ripples here in this diagram, uh, uh, Nitya. Is it just more and more uh, inputs? It... Nitya, in this diagram, is it just more and more inputs? Could be different. Oh. Uh, could yeah, be different. What do you mean by could be different? In this it, diagram, it is the same input coming again and again and again. What do you mean by could be different? We are interpreting the diagram in front of you. Is it could be? It is clearly the same kind of input coming again and again. Yes. Yeah. Interpret the given diagram meaning interpret the given diagram and how the confidence to look at the details and look at the nature of what you see. So now this itself is contradicting the theory of SAP. The same input is happening to your sensation for the last 10 minutes. So that leads to another person. Inputs are happening, but the ripples are unrelated to the inputs. Ripples are not correlated to the inputs. That's the reality of the mind. Evidenced by this, so as we talked about organic sensation, okay? In the visual sensitivity, you talked about the brain. In the visual sensitivity, this diagram has been processed for the last five minutes. And how can you not see the details of the diagram and use it for interpretation? It is the same water drop. That is the diagram showing, not different kinds. Yes, sir. It is a picture of the ripples formed by continuous falling of the same water drops. It is identical. The last one shown it is in little movement. That is maybe to depict uh, what what is that? Yeah, the Sir, fall of uh, fall uh, of the water drop. Yeah. The last, the lower portion of the drops is the bouncing off of the. Okay. Okay. Water. okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. What is the next interpretation? Yeah, it is already uh, 10.30, uh, what do you call, 10.28, two more minutes. Light is needed to see this, in this image. Wait a minute. You don't have to all the time say, but I appreciate your specifying that in this image. Good. Beautiful. That is very interesting. That's why I said in the beginning that knowingly or unknowingly, I should have chose this diagram. But there is a magnificent diagram to represent the uh, uh, represent some of the wonderful aspects of the mind. So, because can I uh, because actually there is the indication of any light uh, by the, the amount of darkness in this, and the water drops are visible. And the ripples created also is visible. I don't know whether someone who created it uh, understood all these things. Anyway, uh, that is not a botheration. It's marvelous. But having said this, can you throw some light on that light <laughs> aspect on it? Actually? 
it's 22 to recognize exactly something like that beautiful beautiful okay there is all kinds of wonderful inputs happening in indian culture bloody aham brahmasmi is told 1000 times in the christian tradition 10 commandments are repeated every bloody sunday okay the so called leaders and all even even the corrupt politicians are talking wonderful ideas in every meeting to the children not just uh, 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 like uh, uh, like um, nitya said different versions of the raindrops of what good and uh, right and uh, blah 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 are given by almost it is filling the environment of the world but bloody nothing is happening to the people because there is no light the mind is bloody dark and they claim to be enlightened human beings educated human beings holding positions of leadership <coughs> they never turn back and look at uh, their own mind what they have been talking as i told you about the ceos discussing vulgar sexuality after cocktail and do you also reflect every meeting we are dealing with hundreds of wonderful ideas where are they going Sir, a couple of more ideas. Light, I cannot give. Light is a property. Definitely, the inputs in this diagram, the inputs, let us say, interpret as wonderful because it is lighted. And in this diagram, it creates a correspondingly lit ripples in the magnificence of the mind. But what about the sublime inputs given to the human minds? No ripples. Ripples happening at all? That ripple happenings are pursued by the will or another operating agency. Satya me jay the great ripples. Okay, yes, please, Ganesh. Ah, we we need wait a moment. All right, Ganesh. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe two or three ideas. Hmm. One, the weight of the drop oh, is beautiful. important. Yeah, beautiful interpretation. Yeah, come on, one, two. The the angle at which of it course, falls, of course, three will determine the depth of the surface will determine the impact. Uh-huh. And In the fact, effect out, of the out drop. of the three, that is the most important. Rather, depth or the sensitivity. Also, yeah, depth, uh, of course. And one, one, uh, one more, fourth. Final one, thought. Yeah. One final thought. Not Just final look at the thought. Picture. Not final thought. Final interpretation. Yeah. Final interpretation from me. If you think of the picture in reverse, hmm. so that's a uh, that's is, uh, that is beautiful. <laughs> that's the next level of interpretation. <laughs> I, I like that one most. <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> escaping. It says escaping your uh, assumed, presumed mindset. Uh, 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 so that that uh, one drop on the top. One, uh, one, one. Not only that. Then its color, corollary also can be made. Uh, Get us. Hmm. What is that? Which is you can you can actually reverse. Uh, uh, re- uh, yeah reverse meaning depending upon the light uh, you can uh, pro- provide it to other people hmm yeah so okay, yeah. yeah so the corollary of what you said as the third one anyway don't bother this is an interpretation 
Why you cannot interpret this is, I would say, you are all capable of interpretation. So you can interpret this. But you have taken, this is the ultimate evidence of taking things for granted at a deeper non-conscious level. Because as soon as at your level, as you look at this diagram, it is very clear. Perhaps, uh, uh, I am sure I can, uh, a child interacting with me at the age of three, he would say most of these things, I suppose. But he may not have that language. Because he is looking at it very free. He is not that familiar with this, this diagram. So, may, what I say may not be that correct. But what I am telling is, fundamentally what happened is, this is a very familiar sight. You, your mind, you, your so-called mind and intellect can instantly know what it is. That knowing creates the problem. You cannot violate that knowing. You have become the victims. You got trapped by your knowledge about what you saw. Remember this. Look at the details. Attention to details. What the hell it means? It is so clearly one, two, three, four, five. What our drops? Uh, after so many, only Vina noticed it. And that light aspect, who noticed it? Uh, what over? That also Vina, right? Uh, who over it? That's not uh, what? Okay, who over? Yeah, all right. Okay. So, uh, uh, do not bother about interpreting this diagram. How the freedom to look at everything? This is what I said the other day. Look at everything. Train yourself. Then it will happen to you. Because that is required. That is what we are aiming at. That pure sensitivity. Uh, yesterday I told you, do not take anything familiar for granted. That is an indirect way to reach the original mind. Here, you have to have an original appraisal of this diagram. Unrestricted by the available quick interpreters, first interpreters. So, because it is an obvious diagram for every one of you. That's why. You should be able to detach and look at the... This is called, for us all, what Ganesh did or what Veena did. This is simply an example, let us say, an example of attention to details. Now, attention to details, you must also have done that. Now we are adding a next point. Okay, people give a lot of attention to details. As a result, what happens? They just see, they don't interpret. What the details? God is in the details. They see it every moment in the color of the butterflies and the color of the flowers and the movement of the leaves and the wind and all. All these are manifestations of the universal wonder. A poet interprets it and says that Chanda Mary Apu Vilum Savalabham Salafatilum Kanda Chari Kadasha Malaga Larkarishmi Il Nitium Chinda Yamani Mani Ratil Vilang Vishan. Even forget about whatever that uncorrupt, raped term means. That universal force, universal template is operating every particle. But they are all taken for granted. Okay, attention to details. Okay, that is being done in the laboratory. Even. But what that, what that details are containing, what that details are indicating, that's what your attention should be. Inevitably try to capture. This is what you did uh, in our first. Uh, uh, we tried to at uh, send our attention to details to the parable of the master. Sorry, master. Sorry, woodcutter. Well, not complete. Don't think that it was complete. Then we are in the process of uh, uh, beginning to give attention to details of the master cook. It is easy to interpret somebody else's language. You did not like me, that's why you told me. That is, language is the most easily exchanged bullshit in this world. Everybody is a master of language. Everybody has heard thousands of languages. So anybody can interpret language. They even interpret Satyamev Jayade. They even interpret Aham Brahmasmi. They even interpret Mahafarishu Kadajana. That's all duplicated knowledge. It is not their interpreters.
So, at the most climax level, what Vinay's point wrote, attention to details is the most critical, what we now mentioned. But attention to details, of course, you must have, I don't know, you must have seen. Now, Ashadi talked about organic input. Where is the organic input? Organic input, you saw the visual image of this totality, then why you are not able to make further expansions and extensions of what you see? I mean, interpretations. So, what is the point in organic input? All kinds of inputs are all the time happening. But it won't make any difference. Unless your, your engines of uh, 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 genuine, loving, uh, innocent, uh, uh, looking into that, what it is, what is beyond it is, what is it, uh, what does it imply? This word. In the reverse, whatever you see in this world, they are all implications, they are all manifestations of something that is invisible. How will you identify the invisible? Whatever your mind is, the manifestations of the uh, uh, colors of the mind, how will you know each one of them? Ultimately, they are all manifested on that original template of the emptiness of empty process. How will you ever reach? So remember this as a strong lesson. Keep this, uh, keep a picture of this uh, and put it under your glass table to remind you about this for a while, for a week. Such an obvious diagram, you missed the many elements. Okay, critical three things have happened. One is that uh, this can be inputs of anything. Not only ideas, it could be a perception, it could be a con, it could be a, an experience, it could be a sight. It could be like what you have seen just in this picture. Is it a, was it an idea input? Was it an experience input? Was it a feeling input? It is a picture input, a, a, a stationary picture. And whatever you see around, mind you, my dear friends, they are all marvelously moving pictures of the wonder of this universe. Unless you are able to interpret that, you, it is very difficult to become the so-called, you know, genius, I mean, just a word, I mean, so-called wonderful entity in this universe. When you become capable of interpreting this diagram, you will be, then you become, or when you become capable of interpreting the leaves and the winds and the flowers and the butterflies and the flights and the patterns and the, all these of elements and episodes and events and phenomena. Similarly, when you are able to interpret the actions and expressions and the, uh, behaviors and the ways of relationship and ways of languages of the people, then you become a master mender, master guru. But it needs that innocent, uh, slow, uh, that genuine, uh, cool, egoless observation. This entire diagram, if it is a drop of water falling into your sensitivity, 